Hi guys, uh, in today's market breakdown, we've got uh, the DXY, AUD, USD, Gold, USD CAD, and NZD CAD. So I decided to make like a few pairs just because some of you don't watch up until the end. So let's start uh, with the DXY on the weekly chart. And then we are still looking for selling opportunities on the DXY. We have this highest high here as our mass psychology and then we have the lowest low. And then if you draw out the overall structure, you'll see that uh, we have a pattern extension at the top like that. So let me just draw out everything like this. And then we have the highest high at the top of the structure. And then around this area, this mass psychology area, we have like a break of structure of which is a mass psychology area. And then moving to the daily chart, you'll see that we have that pattern extension nicely put out at the top of the structure like this and then i can just remove like the array line so like this and then you have the 90 percent rule below so what i'm thinking at the moment is that the dxy can just give us a third touch or an override at the stage just because we have like a clear impulse up and then a clear middle section showing that it will push to the upside and then give us a third touch if it can drop to the downside or we can get like a double top around this area and then push to the downside so those are my scenarios and then moving to the 4 hour that is where you'll see that uh, middle section very nicely so this is the overall middle section that I'm talking about around here like this and then we have that's at the lows so this is the middle section and then you can see that we have this is an impulse move and then this is the corrective move to reach like the third touch before we can sell off from there so that is how i'm looking at the dxy at the moment so let me just do this and then let's put on our forecast so this is the first forecast that i'm looking at like this and then the second one is the one on the third touch and then you can just put a box around here just to show you that you're looking for a third touch for selling opportunities up until like this area here so that is it for the dxy so let me just put those things nicely on the, our chat let me just fix them on the our chat like this and then on the first is this one here uh, the override and then after that you have like the third touch at the top of the structure of which I'll just do it like this okay so this is these are my forecasts and then moving to AUD USD uh, let's start on the weekly chart since the market is closed now let me just remove the analysis that I had so that we can begin so on this one we have been going to the downside for the longest and then let me switch to the daily chart and then on the daily I'll just zoom out and just look at the overall structure and then as you can see we have this low here and then we have like that mass psychology area activated at the lows then we have this overall nice descending channel around this area here so let me just cater for that like this so we have the 90 percent rule also and then i think we are still looking for selling opportunities or short-term buys at the moment and then we have this pattern within a pattern around here like this so I think we can look for short term buys up until this area here anticipating that the market will break structure and then get like continuations up until the 90% rule or we can just push back to the downside so let's move to the 4 hour chart and then on the 4 hour just check for momentum and then let me just put my analysis nicely on the 4 hour like this 
and then you have like your 90 percent rule within the structure and then on the hour chart that is where i'll do like my forecasting so it has been moving nicely uh, to the upside as you can see we have we're already establishing like a trend to the upside around this area here so what i'm anticipating at the moment is that we will have like a double bottom within here or a larger pattern then we can look for buying opportunities a double bottom like this to complete that and then maybe an impulse up a tight flag within here and then we look for continuations to the upside and then all and then this is an overall descending channel let me just remove that and just show you a few things so this is this is an overall trend to the upside like this if you cater for that trend then you can see that this is an overall middle section that you can use like this let me just cater for it so this is an overall middle section around here and then this is an impulse up that's the corrective move and then you're looking for an impulse up to continue to the upside like that so moving to gold uh, let's start on the weekly chart fresh and then on gold on the weekly we are still moving to the downside as you can see the direction is to the downside so on the four hour so on the four hour I think we haven't broken any structure at the moment uh, to show us we are to show us that we are looking for buying opportunities or anything so we are still in a sell trend not a bearish trend at the moment so let me just keep her for it and then what I think will happen is that the market will reach like this area here before pushing to the upside so let's move to the four hour and then on the four hour that's where you can see like the overall structure let me just put this nicely and then this is the ascending channel that we were previously working with and then this is a push down and then we have this corrective move to complete the overall 90 percent rule or the third touch so let's just remove those and then let me cater for the 90 percent rule and then we have this nice ascending channel around here to show us that we are still continuing to the downside and then we have this double top area around there so to the hour chart then on the hour chart i think we had like a few entries uh, the first entry that we had was this one around here on the break of the structure around here so i think we will have like another one around this area here either being a tight flag or a larger flag but i think we will have like some type of a larger flag to continue up to this area here at the lows for 10 percent so moving to usd cat let me just refresh the charts on the weekly chart so on the weekly people are caught in the wrong side around this area here and then we have this as our highest high and then we have this area as our lowest low and then as you can see we had like a retracement candle around this area then moving to the daily chart <laughs> that is where you see that price has just gotten people caught in the wrong side but it's moving very correctively as you can see it's very corrective so what i'll do is that i'll just draw out like the overall structure that we currently have at the moment the outer structures so this is a type of an expanding pattern that we are working with at the moment and then on the lower time frames i'll be focusing like on this structure around here so on the four hour chart 
so on the four hour chart uh, I'm focusing like on the patterns within patterns so this is the pattern that we have like within this area we have this nice pattern and then it has like a, a, a head and shoulder type to it as you can see at the top of the structure like that so let me just remove that oh no okay sharp so we have like this uh, head and shoulders pattern so let me just remove like the head and shoulders pattern and just pattern separate everything around that area so firstly remove like this one here and then put the 90% rule at the lows and then I think I'll move to the four hour, to the hour chart and just pattern separate everything uh, and this is a pattern on its own this is a pattern on its own around here so now we are currently looking at this area here so let me just put like a ray line at the top of the structure and then we have this two touches at the bottom like this and then let me just push it out a bit and then we can have like an ascending within a descending channel around here like this Okay, so we can look for selling opportunities a risk entry around here first take profit is at the third touch and then the second take profit let me just move that back the second take profit is around here and then you are aiming for the outer structures for about 10 percent and then what the market can do is that it can just trickle to the upside like this up until we reach like this nice area here of uh, confluence and then you'd have like your double top and then you'd have like a larger flag and then you have this as your push down from there uh, and then your first risk entry would be like a tight flag your first risk entry would be like taking the entry at the double top exactly when the market reaches like the double top as it give you as it gives you like a retracement candle you take the entry uh, for a risk entry and then your second entry would be uh, our normal push down and then six to eight hours around here then you take the tight flag on the break same applies around here you'll be taking like the entry on the break after the break of structure then your, the market will take you into the trade you are aiming for those areas around here so those are the entries that I'm looking at on USDCAD so moving to NZD CAD on the weekly chart let's just zoom out then as you can see we have high value areas around here so we can use this one just because the market is currently at that area and then we have this highest high around here and as you can see we have been going to the downside for the longest we have been creating higher lows and lower lows and then moving to the daily chart the market is currently corrective on the last leg the market is very very corrective so we can just cater for that uh, descending channel that we have around this area and then as you can see here we are already at the touch area and then we can have like an area of value so I think the market will just break structure to reach like the 90% rule of which is around here or the market will just push back to the downside just because it's corrective it will push back to the downside and then give us a double bottom before pushing back to the upside double bottom meaning this bottom and then the second bottom that you will be having on soon so let's push to the 4 hour chart and then on the 4 hour chart we are at that high value area that uh, I've been talking about so let me just remove that uh, drawing and then if you put this uh, on the touch clearly you can see that we have uh, an ascending channel at the top of the structure and then we are approaching 
a high value area that is supported by the outer structures on the high time frames and then you have the 90% rule within there and then what I think is the market will do is reach like this area as a double top and then also giving us like a touch on the outer structures before pushing to the downside and then giving us entries that we are expecting so let's move to the our chart so that we can uh, see everything clearly so yeah on the hour chart uh, we are still looking at the same thing uh, but I think I can just refine everything uh, let me just try and refine everything and see what we have So if I refine everything, you'll see that we have like a first touch, second touch at the top and many touches at the bottom. So the market can just give us a third touch, breaking that structure, people getting caught in the wrong side like this. And then we look for a risk entry. If we get like a retracement candle, then we look for a risk entry around the area that it retraced and then your stop loss is protected by the outer structure and then the second entry would be a push down back into the structure and then you get like a tight flag around this area and then your taken entry you are protected by the outer structures also first take profit around here second take profit around here and then the last take profit would be uh, aiming for that outer structure double bottom of which is around this area here let me just remove that of which is around this area around here that would be your second take profit so yeah that is it for today's market breakdown